If you search the internet, you'll find that there are many reasons to move to the cloud. The cloud is designed for scaling up during peak demand and scaling down when you need less resources. People are working from anywhere, now more than ever. Enabling IT resources and workforce tools to be used remotely. The cloud allows you to consistently upgrade to the latest and greatest infrastructure available. Cloud vendors provide high security to ensure customers' peace of mind. Plus, there are many options to moving to the cloud that are truly cost-effective. If cloud storage is so cheap, why isn't everyone moving their seismic data to the cloud? Consider the challenges that oil and gas companies face when managing petabytes of seismic data. Typically, 85% of an oil and gas company's total data is seismic data, stored in different formats both offline and online across multiple locations. Scalability and cost are factors to consider while moving subsurface data to the cloud. One of the popular and effective cloud storage options is object storage, which can handle massive libraries of data, while adding more capacity does not degrade performance. Think of all the video content on Netflix. When comparing costs for cloud object store, you have a choice between hot or cold. For example, storing one petabyte of data in hot storage is more expensive compared to cold storage. The challenge with cold storage is that you must thaw the data before you can use it. You may be saving money by moving data from a data center to the cloud, but has your organization really accelerated innovation across the enterprise? Accessibility of data in geophysical workloads is very significant to the overall performance and speed of the application. So if we move data away from applications, we end up with more challenges. Essentially, we need to virtualize the workstations by moving the applications to the cloud. So, applications are virtualized, and seismic data is in the cloud. However, geoscience applications do not automatically work with object stores. And the applications we use today were designed before the cloud even existed. They expect files to be available on normal file systems and don't allow connectivity directly to cloud objects. One solution to this is a lift and shift method, wherein we move seismic files onto a file system, essentially moving the whole workload to the cloud. But things really start to change when we fixate on the 20 times increase in cost of high-performance file systems in an attempt to deliver the data requirements of geoscience applications. So, what is the path forward? Think about how we watch TV, VHS tapes eventually transitioned into DVDs. But once compression came along, companies like Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime transformed the way we watch movies and shows today by streaming content online from anywhere, anytime, to practically any device. What if we apply the same video streaming approach to seismic data, where we use discrete wavelet transform compression with adaptive signal quality streaming to deliver data directly into geophysical applications. By changing to a cloud-native data format, such as Blueware's Volume Data Store, new workflows are possible without sacrificing data quality. Send only the data that you want in real time when you need it so that you don't have to send all of your data to your workflow. Think of movie streaming. With VDS transcoding technology, there is no need to copy and convert data to different formats. Only the required signal quality is delivered to your workflow, yielding extremely fast data access. So, why should organizations consider VDS? It can now be accessed from anywhere in real time. Workflows can be accelerated by up to 20 times, resulting in shorter time to oil. Organizations can take advantage of cloud cost savings and resources can now be allocated more effectively so a team can handle multiple projects simultaneously, thereby increasing efficiency. Companies have invested billions of dollars in acquiring seismic data, and Blueware VDS offers a way to use and exploit that investment efficiently and cost-effectively. Don't just move your data to the cloud. Make it usable in the cloud today.